Hey, what's up, beautiful people? It's Trixie. And Harry. Of Magandara, and we are back for the second episode of Musicians of Annoy. Also, link on the description below to download our first ever single, Twin Flames. Enjoy! I'm also Dan and I play the bass guitar. Wait, you're also Dan? We're also we are different Dan's. So. <laughs> We're the same. They're Dan. <laughs> Taylor, guitar. And we are. each other for um, four or five years. Yeah. Always played in um, different bands, never in the same band other than they were in a cover band together once. Um, him and I were in somebody else's original band once and then Sano and I got together one boring Ted holiday. Ooh. Threw together like uh, three or four. Yeah, one year ago today. Threw together Ooh. three or four songs. And we had big long holiday, no money. Sat on his couch there, he wrote a couple of songs and mm. yeah, it started there. Then we obviously naturally got Dusty in and then it just went from there. Yeah, and our first show was playing in front of like 15, 15 year olds. We were called like 15, 15 year olds. School schoolers. Or was that? That was at HRC, HRC or that was yeah. a, a school event. Mm. Who was the first? Was it Charlie on bass first? Yeah, yeah. We had a different bass player to start with. He had to leave. We picked up this guy here, the secret weapon, yeah. and the man the island of the Volunteers, I guess, because that like one thing that we plan on doing is getting people to come and sing. We don't really have a singer, we all sing, so to get people in that can sing our songs would be really cool. Um, so that could be like a volunteer idea. You know? oh. We also might change it to volunteers, but T-E-A-R-S. Uh, yeah, volunteers, few enough talented people that everyone kind of has to work together or you work with who's around or um, I don't know, there's less pretension I guess in people um, in yeah. kind of lots of genre and blending or It's not really like, weird. it's not it's a scene. huge scene that we have, it's not a huge music scene but there are so many like, different interests because this is a place in the world where it's not just Vietnamese people, there's so many travelers and so many people passing through, so you get people with all, all different types of interests in one small little scene. So you've got like a hip-hop band, a reggae band, a jazz band, a funk band, you got something you can go watch like any night of the week. And people are experts with, and travelers are just happy to see any music, so they have a low bar of uh, low standards. Like, and, yeah, <laughs> just that's where we shine, yeah, 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 those guys. <laughs>
ago when, we, when I first came here, it took me a while to find HRC, and uh, and that was like the only real happening place for lots of gigs, unless you're going to like Vietnamese venues like Polygon or something. Yeah, I feel um, like there was a lot of like, Vietnamese bands, and not so many Western bands, maybe five years ago. Plus, I think uh, there's a lot cooler Vietnamese bands now that are doing weirder out there stuff and different styles, whereas I think five years ago it was like rock, classic rock. And then rock and covers, and maybe like three different bars you could go to, and that was it. It was still fun though. But I think back then, and still now, lot. there's more demand for music than there are people feeling the demand, which makes it easier as well for bands to play every weekend. Or, you know, there's lots of different cafes and bars. <laughs> to just know the people who own bars and, and you can call them on your phone rather than having to like book official things. It, it can, you can throw together shows easily and uh, it's very DIY. Yeah. Sitting in a studio would be like, get it in one take. I think, yeah. yeah. Like, so now. 
now, I think it's, I think it's time now to start recording. We spent a year kind of like getting the songs together, playing shows, and just getting a feel for it. We tried to record, but like, looking back on the recordings, I don't think... Plus, I think we tried to record in a time when we were still... I don't know, like, when you start writing the first songs we wrote. Yeah, they we really love them, but then you write better stuff, oh, yeah. and you move past the stuff that seems simpler, or, um, yeah, things change. Coming up soon. To we are. Near you. Yeah. I'm going home pretty soon, pretty baby. Somebody knows the words for me. Don't you, don't you worry that pretty face, that pretty baby. I've never seen your pretty face, but you know the pretty words in high school. I'm coming home pretty soon, pretty baby. It's on the right side of the room, this is your part, right? Don't you, don't you worry that pretty face, that pretty baby. Okay, right side, you want to sing with me? Here we go. And that was the second episode of Musicians of Hanoi featuring the volunteers. If you want to watch the first episode featuring Brian Bozen, the link is down below. And if you want to download our new single, Twin Flames, link is also down below. So make sure you like and subscribe to stay up to date with all our future videos. Love y'all, bye!